Now, conditional probability is the probability that something's going to happen given that an event is given. There's two, two formulas I'm going to use. One of them, let me do this in red. I'm going to say the probability of A given B. Okay, so keep in mind that little slash. Call it A given B. Sometimes people make it like a backslash. Sometimes it's drawn as a straight line. So sometimes it's drawn like this. It's a personal preference. So I'm going to say probability of A given B times the probability of B. One thing that I want us to pay attention. When I say A given B, the second letter has to match this letter after. Probability of A given B times the probability of B is equal to probability of A and B, A union B. Hmm. I said two formulas, right? So let's take a look at the second formula. The second formula is very, very similar. So when I rearrange the order of some things, I'm going to say probability of B given A. Notice how I flipped it, A given B, B given A. So I'm going to say prob times probability of A, one thing. These letters have to match, okay? Has to equal to probability of A intersecting B. Okay, having that said, let's take a look at our questions 31 and 32. Find the missing probability. I want you to pay attention to this. Am I going to use the red formula or am I going to use the blue formula? Yeah, I want to use the red formula, right? So let me just write probability of B given A times the probability of A is equal to the probability of A intersect B. Okay, let me replace the values that I, I know. I know probability of B given A is X. So let me replace the values that I know. Let me zoom in here, because I'm gonna look at this just as a simple algebra question. So I have X, times 0 0.2 is equal to 0 0.03. Okay. Now, what would I do to get X by itself? Let me divide by 0 0.2. Again, I'm looking at this as a simple algebra question. So let me divide by 0 0.2. So I'm gonna use a calculator if necessary. 0 0.3 divided by 0 0.2 gives me 0 0.15. Cool, that was not bad. Let's take a look at number 32. Here, I want you to pay attention to this part right here, the given. Probability of A given B. So am I going to use the red formula or am I going to use the blue formula? Yes, I'm going to use the blue formula. So let me just rewrite this as probability of A given B times the probability of B has to equal to probability of A intersect B. Okay, let me zoom in. I'm gonna treat this as an algebra question. Probability of A given B is 0 0.14 times probability of B, it's X. So I have no idea what it is. Probability of A intersect B is 0 0.07. Okay, let me get x by itself. 
Let me divide both sides by 0 0.14. Now, 0 0.07 divided by 0 0.14, according to my calculator, is 0 0.5.